Hi dear friends, I am Jaya John, introducing you to the basics of Malayalam. Those who want to learn Malayalam should follow this channel systematically. If you like my channel, kindly like, share and subscribe. I hope you have followed all my episodes systematically. Okay. Now in this episode, we will start with the vowels or soraksha angle. Malayalam language has 15 vowels. They are A, A, E, E, U, U, R, E, E, I, O, O, Au, Am, A. Of these, 14 of them have symbols. The first vowel that we are going to learn is pronounced as A. A has no symbol. Let us learn how to write this alphabet. In the earlier episode, we had learned to write Ra and Ra. Ra and Ra. We will be using this to write the letter A. We start from the baseline, go to the top line, make an arch, write here, 3. Then, without lifting your hand, write here, Ra. Then, continue to write here, Ra. Now, let us form some words using A and these alphabets. First word, A and Ra. A and Ra. Ara. Ara means shells in a cupboard. Second word, first word, A and Ra. Second word, a and Ra. Ara. Ara. Ara means half. Third word. A and La. Ala means verse. A and La. Ala means verse. Okay. Again, first word A and Ra, Ara. Second word A and Ra, Ara. Ara means half. Ara means shelves in a cupboard. Third word Ala, A and La, Ala. Ala means waves. Okay. Next word is A. This is A. The difference between a and A is that the bend extends to form a tail going below the baseline. Once again, this is A. The difference between the difference between A, A and A is that the bend extends to form a tail going below the baseline. Okay. A again A A Okay. Got it? Let us make some words using the alphabets A and these alphabets. First one, A and Na. A Na. A Na. 
Ana. Ana means an elephant. workshop a la ala means a blacksmith's workshop okay once again first word a and na ana second word a and ma ama third word a and la ala ala means a blacksmith's workshop got it now we will learn the symbol for the alphabet a as i had mentioned earlier a does not have a symbol now we will study the symbol for a care should be taken that this symbol touches both the lines two line touches okay now let us study how to apply this symbol in the first and second episode we had learned the words pada para mala first one pada second word para third word mala okay when we add the symbol when we add the symbol to these words first one pada symbol apply pa pada not this symbol when we apply this symbol the pronunciation changes from pada to pada again not this symbol when we apply this symbol the pronunciation changes from pada pada okay pada means a road second word para pa this symbol pa para para means a rock note this symbol when we apply this symbol the pronunciation changes from para 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 means a rock another word mala ma apply symbol ma mala when we apply this symbol the pronunciation changes from mala to mala mala means a necklace got it so as i wind up this class let us revise what we have learned using the letter a
we created three words first letter first uh, first letter ara second alphabet second ara third word ala then using a a a first word ana second word ama third word ala okay while aunt does not have any symbol it is symbol for a a a pada becomes first word pada becomes pada not the symbol second word para becomes para becomes para para third word mala becomes mala mala becomes mala okay let me remind you once again in order to understand my classes clearly you must watch all my earlier episodes okay keep practicing you see a two line notebook we will meet again next friday bye